Haley here with How To Haley coming at you Saturday night after Thanksgiving. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday and that everyone's getting into the Christmas spirit. I was hoping to have all of my Christmas decorations and these videos done well before December hit, but um, life got in the way, <laughs> which is the understatement of my year. Um, so better late than ever. Maybe this will help you plan your decorations next year. So I'm going to be doing a series of Christmas tree and Christmas decorating videos. So this is video number one, and that is starting with the right foundation for your Christmas tree. Um, so your tree doesn't have to be as fancy as mine. Um, the first couple years of our marriage, I just had a really basic six foot tall, $35 tree from Walmart. Um, you know, it had the really chintzy looking um, stems, really nothing to write home about, but it didn't matter because once you're decorated, the tree is just the base. Um, I found this tree at Michael's end of season clearance a couple years ago and just swooned over it. Let's see if I can show you. So this is the coolest thing guys, no cords. This is like a click connect. It's got the power right here. Click it right into its base. Behold. So. I think that's a pretty fancy trick. I've had my tree sitting out for a day or two to let my child and my cats get acclimated before I work my magic on it. My cats have been all up and down this tree already. Um, this is the second year we've had this tree out. The bottom limbs are all droopy because of my big fat cat. In another video, I'm going to show you how to more or less cat proof your tree so it doesn't at least get knocked over. Your cats are gonna climb it regardless. That's just a, a fact of life. Enjoy the fun. They're having the time of their lives. So um, with your Christmas tree base, the number one thing you need to do is fluff it. You can't just take your tree out of the box, set it up and start decorating. You're gonna have a really flat tree. If you look here, we have lopsided. We have a lot of bare areas. So once we're done with this, it takes about 10, 15 minutes and it's amazing how much fuller your tree will look. And this even helps with the cheapest trees all the way to the fanciest trees. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna work um, stem by stem. And so let's take this, we'll take this right here in the middle. So you're gonna pull from the very back and you're gonna just straighten and pull all of your stem or branches up, down, and just away from its main branch. So fan it out, straighten it out. It's like they get bent as you put ornaments on or stick it in the box. So you do that and automatically it looks more full. So remember where you started. I just take a little ornament, stick it where I started so I can not repeat myself too many times. So come around and do this side. So just fan it out and I wear gloves because by the time I have played with my tree um, enough to get it all set up, my hands are so scratched up, the gloves help prevent that. Okay. Just keep working in circles. So I have this little patch of my tree done already. It looks a lot fuller and more perky and vibrant. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the tree. Okay, so one thing you'll have to do if you have cats like mine um, that have hung out on the lower branches. So here's a really good example. This branch is almost to the ground. So you'll reach in, you'll grab very, very back of your branch where it connects to the center of the tree. And then you're gonna grab about a hand in front, which, so you're gonna grab here and you're gonna grab here. And with the hand in the back, you're gonna push down, hand in the front, you'll push up to bend your branch up to where it should have been if your cat hadn't sat on it. And there you have it a fully fluffed Christmas tree ready for the next step. 10 to 15 minutes, well worth your time. It's going to really elevate your Christmas tree game. 
See you the next.